hello students welcome to today's session so in this session we are going to deal about business process integration and enterprise systems for iotd so in the iot paradigm the physical world is equipped with sensors and actuators to create a direct link with the digital world so business process are used to coordinate a complex environment including multiple actors for a common goal that is typically in terms of a uh, context of administrative work so business uh, enterprise uh, with integration systems so is the process of connecting systems existing systems to share and communicate information so integrating applications it enables the data to flow between the systems with simple and uh, it process and increasing agility across the business so we are going to see in detail so a business process it is a uh, consisting of series activities okay it is a consisting of series of activities which serves a particular specific result so it is used when an enterprise has number of interrelated process which serves a particular result or a goal so this uh, results which enables the sales planning and production so the business process is a representation of matrix or flow chart of a sequence of activities with interleaving decision points so it is a process which enables the business service to extract new facts and knowledge and then undertake uh, best uh, undertake better decision okay so it is a uh, used when the enterprise has a number of interrelated process which serves a particular result or a goal so the result which enables the sales okay so sales planning and production so it is a representation or a process matrix or flow chart with the sequence of activities with interleaving decision points so a business process which consisting of series of activities which serves a particular specific result so it is used when an enterprise has number of interrelated process which serves a particular result or a goal so the result which enables sales planning and production so business process is a, a representation of uh, process or matrix or a flow chart of a sequence of activities with interleaving decision points so internet of rfid which enables a business process called tracking of rfid label goods which also enables inventory control process so iot or m2m uh, enables the device data in database for business process so the data which supports the process for example considering a process uh, that is street light control and management so each group of satellite uh, each group of street lights sends data in real time through the gateways so the gateways which is connected to the internet so the control and management process street lights uh, real time databases and group databases so and then uh, business intelligence so it is a process which enables a business service to extract new facts and knowledge and then undertake better decisions so the new facts and knowledge which follows from the earlier results of data processing aggregation and analyzing those results so here the architecture reference model for the business intelligence and business process at automotive components and predictive automobile automotive maintenance that is a acpa ms automotive components and predictive automotive maintenance so here the predictive analysis of the uh, acquired data in database which enables the service to extract the knowledge okay so here the gateways and sources which acquires data so that is adoption and enrichment with the iot m2m 
uh, data sources which is automobile components layers and then uh, next to that the tarnished data store layer so it has automobile specific database and component specific historical database with the automobile components data integration so next one is that application support for analytics so here the applications with the data accessing uh, sql query processing and uh, r descriptive statistics stati statistics and predictive analytics so then the business analytics and intelligent applications so here the business intelligence and service center business process so the predictive analysis analytics of the acquired data in databases which enables the service to extract knowledge uh, from the so here the architectural reference model for the business intelligence and business process at automotive components predictive automatic maintenance system has been proposed okay so here uh, it is co configured into four layers okay so in the first layer gateway sources and acquiring data layers so in that adaptation and enrichments so that that is the iot and uh, machine to machine uh, data sources from the sensors the gateways okay so automatic component layers automobile component layers inside the automobiles okay so uh, here the input uh, sources are collected so from that uh, the organized data store layer so with the help of that uh, input uh, data so automobile specific database and component specific historical uh, databases and then uh, automobile components data integration has been done in this part okay so next the application uh, support for analytics so with the help of sql query processing and data access and then predictive analytics and then uh, descriptive statistics, uh, statistics. So here uh, it is uh, done once the collecting the data, organizing the data, then uh, processing the data. Okay. So here the business intelligence and service center business process. So with the help of that uh, application and then uh, data analytics with the uh, uh, SQL and query processing, uh, business analytics and intelligent application has been uh, done. Okay. So the predictive analysis of the acquired data in the databases which enables the service to extract the knowledge so it gets the prediction of components and needing service from the facts so the service to be uh, to a set of automobile components it has to be timely and preventive so the here the business intelligence lies in the service to the automobile when components are serviced and are uh, and are uh, replaced timely with the least number of visits to the service center so this is what the uh, application So here the distributed uh, business process here the several times the business process need to be distributed because the distribution of process which reduces the complexity communication cost and uh, enables faster response so this is the uh, important thing why we are uh, automating the uh, things okay so and smaller processing loads at the central system So distributed uh, business process systems that is DBS is a, a collection of logically interrelated business process in an enterprise network. So here the DPMS, uh, DPBS means a software system that uh, manages the distributed business process. Okay, so, so here the uh, system, the process has been distributed with the collection of logically interrelated business process in an enterprise network. So the manages the software system manages the distributed business process. So here the features. So DP uh, BS is a collection of logically related business process like uh, DB DDBS. Okay. So and then uh, DBBS exists as cooperation between the business process in a transparent manner. So the transparent means that each user within the system uh, may access all of the process decision. So within uh, all of that process if they were a single business process. So DBBS uh, should possess the location independence. So which means the enterprise business uh, intelligence is unaware of the where the business process are located. So there is no interrelation, but uh, it should possess the location independence. So it is possible to move the uh, results of analytics and knowledge from one physical location to another without affecting the user. So this is the model architecture uh, for distributed uh, business intelligence and business process at an automobile enterprise.
so here the uh, uh, recalling the automotive maintenance application at an auto, uh, automotive component and prediction automotive maintenance system uh, the enterprise business uh, intelligence lies in predictive and prescriptive analysis based on the services to the uh, automobile components so which are serviced or replaced timely within minimum number of visits to the service center so here the, it draws the business and uh, intelligence uh, process architecture for the automobile components service process it shows a model architecture for distributed business intelligence and uh, business process at an automobile enterprise so two business process okay here the business uh, one and business two process okay so at our uh, enterprise layer one at the network layer okay so another at the devices and gateway layer so interrelationships in uh, distributed business or enterprise uh, layer business process eb b1 okay so enterprise layer business process indirect uh, interrelates directly with the device and gateway layer so the, here the business process dgb p4 okay so the device uh, gateway layer business process okay so it uh, interrelates with the uh, enterprise layer okay so interrelates with the enterprise layer so here the enterprise layer business process uh, one which interrelates okay so it interrelates with the directly with the device and gate layer okay so it is directly interrelates with the device and uh, gate layer uh, that is business process four so thus the device data uh, adaptation data integration and enrichment for a specific automobile so here the eb enterprise uh, business layer one analytics is with non-historical data okay so it is with non-historical data so here the network layer so network layer business process two so it uh, interrelates directly with the enterprise okay so enterprise layer business process three okay so uh, and then uh, this layer with uh, use the data access sql processing uh, query processing and r descriptive statistics and component specific historical databases so np b2 this layer has a access to uh, a data of number of automobiles of same model okay so it is access to a number of automobiles of uh, same model as one sending data to the enterprise business layer one okay so here the epb3 analytics this analytics is with the other automobile databases and historical historical databases and enables predictive and uh, prescriptive analytics so here the npb2 uh, is inter interrelates directly with dgb4 okay so device and gateway layer business uh, 4 so this enables the updating the database for the npb2 so the npb2 interrelates with the directly with the uh, device gateway layer business process 4 so this enables the updating the database for npb2 okay so next one is the complex application integration and service oriented architecture so an enterprise has number of applications services and process so heterogeneous systems which have complexity when integrate them in the enterprise so a homogeneous system means no problem but a different uh, uh, automobiles which has been connected so it has some complexity while integrating with the enterprise so is here the standardized business process architecture uh, for uh, developed by oracle application integration so here the uh, integrating and enhancing the existing systems and process so and then business intelligence and then data security and integrity and new business services and products that is web services collaboration and knowledge management enterprise architecture and SOA so e-commerce and then external customer services supply chain automation and analytics which results in vis visualization and then a data center optimization so here the IOT applications uh, uh, services and process which enhances the uh, existing systems of number of enterprises for example an automobile enterprise has a number of divisions so each division has uh, sales customer relations management automo automobile maintenance services and accounting so I iot based services helps in business intelligence uh, process and systems such as post sale services and supply chain automation and analytics which results in visualization enhancement of the services from an enterprise so complex application uh, and then uh, integration means it means a uh, 
the integration of heterogeneous architecture, application architecture and number of process. So, SOA consisting of services, messages, operations and process. So, SOA components distribute over a network or the internet in a high level business entity. So, new business applications can be developed using a SOA. So, here the complex application integration architecture and SOA based IoT services. So, it shows the applications and the SOE, SOE service oriented architecture of cloud based IoT services, web services, cloud services and services. So, here the process orchestration means a uh, uh, number of business process which uh, running in a parallel and a number of process running in sequence. Okay. So, here the uh, this business process orchestration which means the number of business process. Okay. So, these number of my example we are taking this uh, three business process so it are running in parallel so the number of process which are running in sequence okay so here the uh, business process which are running in parallel and sequence so here the decision points so the process matrix okay so the process matrix provides the decision points which indicates the uh, process should run in parallel and in which sequence so the process matrix having the decision points uh, it indicates the process should run in parallel and which in sequence so it has to decide so whether the process has to be run in parallel or in sequence or order okay so in soa models uh, the number of uh, services and interrelationships uh, with uh, each service it initiates on a receipt of messages from a process or service so the service discovery uh, selection and orchestration orchestration so which has the web services iot services and cloud of things and with the cloud okay so here the service discovery and uh, selection software components selects the service of application integration so service uh, orchestration software coordinates the execution of number of services okay so it coordinates the execution of service of orchestration software coordinates the execution of number of services cloud service okay so on cloud iot services and web services so the service which run in parallel and a number of process in sequence so far we have seen the business process uh, with which consisting of series of activities uh, which serves a particular specific result so it enables selling planning uh, and production so and then business intelligence uh, is the process which enables the business service to extract new facts and knowledge and to take better decisions so and we have seen the architecture reference model for the automatic component and predictive automatic maintenance systems so and then distributed business process with its features and then architecture of distributed business intelligence and business process at an automobile enterprise so and then complex application integration and service oriented architecture with the standardized business process